Hello and welcome, this is Xiaomi. Today I'm going to tell you about the new Xiaomi smartphone, the Mi 4S. It's like Mi 4 but different, but still the same, but different yet. My name is Dmitro Voloshin, off we go. While companies' fans waited for the release of the new flagship, the Mi 5, Xiaomi surprised everyone and gave another chance to the previous one. The Mi 4S is the third incarnation of Mi 4. There were the Mi 4C and the Mi 4i. The new smartphone is now positioned on the middle of the food chain, but it competes with the flagships. Xiaomi took all the best things from Mi 4 and added something new, the fingerprint scanner and the memory card support. By the way, our Mi 4S together with Redmi Note 3 Pro are the first two metal smartphones with memory card support from Xiaomi, which is important for some people. And you might ask, why would Xiaomi want to release both Mi 4S and Mi 5? Honestly, I've tested them side by side and the difference is there. Mi 4S fills the gap of the next to the flagship phone and does it nicely. Mi 4S is an interesting phone. It is available in four colors, the usual black, white, a golden one like this one, and a funny rose. The body quality is superb. It doesn't squeak or bend, and it feels solid. Most of the front is taken by a 5-inch Full HD IPS screen. It is very good and I had no issues with it. It is plenty bright, viewing angles are wide, there is really nothing to complain about. Under the screen there are the usual backlit sensor keys, recent, home and back. Above the screen, the light proximity sensors, the earpiece and a 5-megapixel front-facing camera. The phone is surrounded by a solid metal frame. On the left there is a tray for one micro and one nano SIM card. The micro SIM slot can be used for a memory card of up to 128 gigabytes. On the right, the usual for all Xiaomi phones volume and power button arrangement. On the bottom, the new trendy USB Type-C port with a microphone grill to the left and a grill of a very loud speaker to the right. On the top it is also quite typical, the headphone jack, the IR port and an auxiliary noise reduction microphone. The back of the phone is made of glass, it hosts the rear-facing camera with a two-tone flash and the fingerprint scanner, like the Note 3. Such placement on the mentioned Note 3 is very good. It is very convenient when you take the phone into the hand and the finger falls on the sensor naturally, unlocking the phone. On Mi 4S it's almost the same. Redmi Note 3 is slightly bigger though. Here my index finger winds up a bit to the right of the sensor. It is still comfy to use though, but not as perfect as Note 3. Maybe this is a lady thing and a girl's finger would fall perfectly onto it. That would explain the rose color option available as well. And to 2. Mi 4S scores quite a lot actually, more than 53,000 points. This is great for a modern middle-range phone. The 6-core Snapdragon 808 was installed on the top phones less than a year ago and was considered a top processor. The powerful CPU and graphics make this phone very capable for gaming. The phone has 3 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage, which can be expanded even further. There should be no issues with the storage space. Even though the battery capacity is not record-breaking, the 3260mAh in this battery make this phone last for two full days, which is quite a lot actually. It lasts more than an average phone in this price range. It charges rather normally, from 0 to 40 in about 60 minutes. The phone supports all the modern wired and wireless interfaces, but still no NFC for who knows what reason. Only Mi 5 and Mi Note Pro have it in the Xiaomi lineup. The camera in Mi 4S seems quite similar to the Mi 4. The same 13 megapixels, but f.2 instead of f1.8 this time. The pictures the phone makes are better than the Mi 4 though. At daylight they are very good. In the dark they are quite good as well, but the focusing gets tricky. It takes some time. It shoots video in Full HD and you can make a decent video with it if you hold it firmly. There is the time lapse and slow motion modes, the latter only available in HD mode though. The selfie shooter has 5 megapixels instead of 8, but the quality is at least as good as that of the Mi 4, which is perfect actually. Mi 4S works under my UI interface based on Android 5.1. The Xiaomi Mi 4S has powerful hardware, perfect body quality, and is going to be at least 50% cheaper than any competition. There are minor software glitches, like the equalizer presets won't actually change anything at all, but these can be and will be fixed in the firmware updates. It was a great idea to make a phone with a fingerprint scanner that wake up the phone the instant you touch it. This phone's sensor is not embedded into the body too much, so it sometimes has false activations and you will have to enter the password after 5 such activations. As a result, if you want an inexpensive flagship-like phone for a reasonable amount of money, take a good look at this Mi 4S phone. This was Dmitro Voloshin, I will see you soon. Good luck!